I'm alive. We out here. We out here. What's up, good people? This is Ian Walker. Let me, let me, let me uh, post my story here on, on the gram real quick. Man, I lost two followers since I posted my story. <laughs> You know what? I'm fully expecting something. I'm fully expecting to lose followers and stuff after this AI discussion. So you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, grin and bear it. Um, and you know, if some people don't like it, it's all good. You know, you're entitled entitled to opinions. I know there's some people who who are um, very, you know, they treat it like it's politics. If you like AI art, unfollow me. You know, it is what it is. But um, I would like, I, you know, I have a hot take on it. I have a hot take on AI art, what it means, what it could mean, all of those things. So. You know, we're going to go over that. I know you guys see a uh, drawing right here that I'm doing. This is a, a print that I'm working on, uh, a drawing that I might make into a print. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it. I'm a fan of the sketch part, but the way the phantom looks and all of that, I'm, I'm kind of like, Oof, with that. But um, I am wanting to do something different and so that's the wrong search bar so I want to draw something a little bit more challenging so what I'm going to do is oh oh I just saw something super cool based on what I'm looking for um what I want to do is draw a photo of one of my favorite animes of all time, The Giver. Now, for those of you who don't know who The Giver is, y'all just need to get in, okay? Because The Giver is that, that dude. He is the business, okay? He is the truth. He is The Giver. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in with that. I want to draw the Giver and, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I don't know if I'll make it into a print or whatever, but I think it's just, I, I'm just kind of looking for something that's a bit of a challenge tonight. And it's something that I can vibe with. As I uh, talk about this AI art, this AI art trend that's going around right now, it's very, it seems to be very divisive. Now, I'm not the kind of person that really gets into, you know, very divisive stuff and, you know, oh, you know, you, you, you know, oh. Uh, I just I just don't do that generally, but since this is something that I do feel um, directly affects me, I thought I would go ahead this time and actually drop in my two cents on the subject. Okay, so AI art is uh, something that came out recently. I know that there's people who uh, downloaded this app called Lenza AI. And uh, they're they're creating that's gorgeous. Um, and they're creating AI versions of their their personal avatars, which are, which is which is kind of cool. The concept is 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 pretty neat. Um, let's get the sketch pencil sketch. We don't want we don't want that. We want the sketch brush. Yeah. You like that sketch look, man. See that? The, the, the lines. The lines. Okay. So, uh, 
which people downloaded this app called Lens of the Creating Digital Avatars of Themselves. And um, it's pretty cool. It, it is pretty neat. Um, you get charged a fee to use it, and you then get pictures or drawings of this uh, of of avatars of yourself drawn up as you know as his characters. So. Of course, I, I wanted to jump on the bandwagon and try it out. Now, here's what I'm going to say. My my whole take on it is this: the big the big argument is that AI is coming or uh, coming around, and they're they're making the the regular artist obsolete. Okay, and that now this gives license to other scammers to come and take your art. And use your art without your permission to create and market their own. One, sell your artists that they that you created as their own, or um, or just you know blatantly make a living off your creations. Okay. Now I do believe that to some extent that is true. Um, it's already happening, and that's a grim reality. The thing is, and, and this is where the flaw comes in for me, with that whole line of reasoning in general, is that a lot of these folks kind of pretend as if this has never happened before, as if stealing of art wasn't a thing that came around until AI came up. And the thing is, is like, it's not the computer doing it it's the person behind the computer and ai artificial intelligence it's a it's a program it's an algorithm okay it has to have something to feed into it so yes that chance of um of your art being taken and used is there but it's not like that 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 risk wasn't there before it was always there it's always going to be there okay so the thing is, is that now artists do we're forced to now be even more careful about what it is that we do with our work and how we distribute it okay this kind of begs the question of okay now instead of every time you post something or every time you create something if you're if you're in the camp of those who don't like vr I'm not VR, but AI art, you have to now make a decision. Are you going to be posting all of your work on social media, every single piece that you do for fear of that? Um, are you going to post everything to DeviantArt, ArtStation, whatever? Because it's going to pull from all of these sources. And I think this is honestly a good thing for artists, I mean, in this aspect, because it makes artists more selective and what they need to do for, you know, on how they give their art out to the world. Because here's the thing, the art that we create is for everybody else. Okay, we create art to elicit emotion, to create, you know, a, a feeling or whatever. And that runs the risk of being exposed and, and being, and now, now the fact of the matter is, is that now computers are a part of that that audience that that you know there's nothing that we can do about it okay so instead of complaining it's like now what we have to do as artists is that we need to become smarter we need to become more selective on where we share our art what kind of art pieces we should share we should share um and now we realize that not everything needs to be shared because if we could control that as artists, if something gets copied and plagiarized, whatever, yeah, that is a bad thing. I'm not taking away from that. I'm an artist myself. I, I wouldn't appreciate it if somebody took my art without the permission. But, and that's why I personally take precautions, which I'm going to get to in a second, um, on my artwork. But, you know, that is the risk that we run 
when we when we share our art with the world and again i think that is something that we that 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 we've forgotten about the world is a cool cruel place and the world is run on collecting the almighty dollar money okay so you know we're going to go into situations where or have situations where we're exposing ourselves potentially to different unknowns and different things. And at this point in time, our art is being exposed to a new invention that I personally feel is causing more divisiveness than unity, if that makes sense. Okay. We're seeing it instead of as an opportunity, we're looking at it as a threat. Again, AI can't do anything without you as an artist, okay? The AI cannot learn. The AI cannot improve. The AI is not perfect. I've seen a lot of AI photos and things um, um, come about. And some, you know, a lot of them blur their hands out because the AI, just like humans, can't do hands, <laughs> if you guys have noticed. I think it's kind of funny. If you look, if you guys go take a look at all these AI drawings and stuff, you notice Hands nine times out of ten are not perfect, so that proves how crazy drawing hands is. <laughs> even 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 sophisticated machinery can't even get it right. But all joking aside, um, you know, it it gives an it gives an opportunity for something new. Now, I believe I don't believe that AI is a threat yet. And I still, and I'm still leery to say the word threat, um, because here, here's here's the thing, where it kind of could become a problem, and this is where I go into when I talk about the commission space or or something like that. One of the biggest things, kind of shifting gears a little bit, going into like us artists who take commissions, okay. What is one of the biggest threats that we face as commission artists? Okay. We have artists who will come up with commissions of their own, do beautiful work, and almost as good, if not better, than us, right? And then they charge extremely little for the work that they provide, okay? Thus kicking us out because now we are too expensive. We charge what we think we're worth, but because the other person could get it cheaper, they go and go with that. Um, they go with that other option. Now, yes, that person's a human, but we're talking about from a pricing standpoint. Bringing that analogy back to the AI aspect, I can see Hollywood, I can see certain jobs being at risk, like, for instance, maybe graphic designers being at risk somewhat because if Hollywood can get their hands on things, perfect example, there was a, there was a series of drawings or AI produced artwork that showed mock-ups of a Black Panther movie, a potential Black Panther movie. And they were gorgeous. It was beautiful. And they were 100% created of AI. And obviously that art had to come from somewhere. You know, they took bits and pieces from everything, different images and things like that. Um, but it looked beautiful. And the thing is, Hollywood can take that, or big businesses can probably take that, and create something on the cheap, on the fly. They get the program and they immediately have easy art and they save money that way. I could see that being more of a threat, this AI art being more of a threat to graphic artists or um, architects, draftsmen, people of that nature. Um, at the end of the day, it could be a threat to everyone. And I'm not, I'm not discounting that. But I think at the point, at the stage of where it is now, it could start becoming a threat to those, to that, to that group of people first. That's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong. If you guys have a different opinion, you guys want to debate that, let me know. Um, or you have a comment on that, let me know. But that's where I see it going. AI will, like I said, I lightly say become a threat because once we start seeing AI create visual media, I'm talking about animating 
or creating movies, that's when we're going to start getting into a whole new different territory. But to be honest, this is just in its infancy. Um, and we're not going to see that level of, of uh, artificial intelligence until years from now. That is, unless somebody, unless the person who created deep fakes learns how to integrate that technology in the AI, which I just might have accidentally given them an idea. Um, <laughs> uh, then that'll be something. And I think then that's where we're going to start entering into a whole new ball game of territory. Because AI can be is used by other art by other artists, I think, for instance, somebody like myself or other of you artists out there, I think AI can be a very useful tool if wielded correctly. Um, I think it can be something that can actually enhance the current artwork that you create. I think it can be used to actually serve as a model for. I'm creating that. It's no different to me. It's no different than going on Blender and, you know, putting together a model mock-up of what you're trying to uh, come up with or how to draw something. Um, then now going to an AI, pro um, an AI uh, program and putting in the, the, what you want to try to draw. I don't see the difference, honestly. So, um, and I think it could be used as a tool that way or what you're drawing as an artist, you can use that AI to enhance what it is you're drawing and more clearly see your vision. And it's a shortcut. Um, yeah, it is a shortcut, but I think you can use it as, as that way as a nice form of reference and a very unique reference as well, because it's going to give it to you in different genres. Um, and different and different different ways and different ways of seeing it. So I I don't and I don't see anything wrong with that per se. Okay. Now with any any tool, if you take that and that's all you depend on, then you know there's a whole other an, again a whole other discussion that needs to be had there because now you're again entering into another type of territory that is quite different okay um but i don't i don't feel like this ai thing is something that needs to be so divisive we don't need to make it a political thing we don't need to make a tool or a a, 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 a literal computer program something that divides us as artists i don't think that's a, i i think i think and then this is just a personal take and again everybody you do what you will after you hear my opinion on this but um i think shunning other artists for being into ai art and saying you can unfollow me or you can go somewhere you could da 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 or you're not a real artist da 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 um, is almost the same as saying, well, if you use Photoshop for art, creating art, you're not a real artist. Um, you, 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 you're not a real artist because you don't use paper and a pencil or paper and pen. And remember that that argument was happening for a while and there's still glimpses, very small glimpses, not as much anymore, but there's still some of that to this day. That, that line of reasoning is coming around again, and I think it's highly inappropriate. We artists are a group of people who are pretty good about staying together and being together and, you know, sharing common interests and things like that, sharing each other's art, what makes us happy and what we want to share with other people. And I think it's extremely inappropriate to allow a tool or a computer program to divide us as artists. Um, we shouldn't allow these things to make us elitists because I think artists are the last people to be elitists. They should be. Um, are not, our art is not for, it is for, uh, this is the only genre that is for us and for others at the same time. So if anything, this should, this should motivate us to get together even more and find a way to use the technology and the tools that has been created to enhance our work 
and to get better at our crafts and what we do. That's my opinion. I, on a personal level, don't see AI art as a threat. I think it's a fun tool. I think it's a fun little gimmick. Um, and certain aspects of this AI will die out over time because here's the thing. Uh, art takes originality. And if there's not enough original content out there, that originality becomes to get stagnant. And if artists are more ca cautious of how and when they put their art out into the world, um, you're going to have less of that. So it'll become less of a an issue. Um, there were some, let me see, there was something else I wanted to say about that, but it's kind of eluding me right now. So right now I'm just drawing up my my Giver <laughs> here. You guys see me here. I'm drawing up general shapes, a general uh, shape of how I want my Giver to look here. I'm not going to do the crotch. I'm just going to do this as a as a marker, as a So the Giver was one of the one of the first animes that I looked at as a kid, and I enjoyed the crap out of that anime. Um, it's one of my favorites, and I have not drawn a Giver. I want to say in years. So I figured, let me draw a Giver. Let me draw a Giver. Let me go ahead and shrink this down. Uniform looks good. So like that. All right. I'm not going to try to exactly make it like uh, the um, the anime version. What I've seen, what's cool about Giver is you can kind of make your own. <laughs> so that's going to be what I'm going to go for. I'm just going to try to make my own design of the Giver, of a Giver. Now, imagine if I took this, took my drawing, put it on AI, what it would come up with. See? References. Use those, use those things as reference. And they're your own references, your own personal made reference. That's going to take away you having to go and look at other people's art. Oh my goodness. Isn't that what you're doing? When you create reference, you put together pieces of things you like, taking style, taking pieces and putting them together to create your own style. That's all AI is doing, but it's doing it based on a calculation and an algorithm. You're welcome. Yeah, this is not this is not something that we should be all getting upset with each other over. Not at all. Not at all. And as I said, I think it's highly inappropriate if we allow that to be the case. Highly inappropriate. All right. So I want to put to some elements on the Gaver. We know we got these sick arm blades. Every Gaver has to have that. Those, those are not that's those are not being sacrificed for this. Um, let me make this more. Come down here more because what we're going to need to do, let me put our Giver tubes here. All right. So again, just making sure my sketch is on point before I keep going here. The sketch looks dope. And then we can move on to other parts of this drawing. And I am pretty satisfied with the with the with the 
join here. So um, going to keep on moving like this. I like that. Now, one of the things I got to get into are the um, the details here. Again, I'm using my favorite search engine, Pinterest. I've told you guys before, I always you know, follow my own advice. <laughs> um, ooh, somebody bought something from my store. Um. <clears throat> so let's go ahead now and bring the opacity of this down and we're going to go into now a pencil drawing of diver here what i want to do is i want to work on the pencils first and work on how this is going to look there's so certain aspects of this that I want to incorporate here. So again, I'm going to try to make this my own unique thing here. So some of these Giver uh, units have these little tiny areas that come out here, like so. Now, we're going to have the control metal here. And then bring this in like that. Let's see here. I want this one to have a big control metal here. So I'm going to do this. Happens is, is that in this part here, these are where the eyes usually will need to go. So, okay, so following this guideline here, <clears throat> let me do this here and then here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
this in like so, like here. These are not finals. Again, as I'm designing, I'm kind of uh, designing a Giver here as I go through. Hey, I got looks like I got a thumbs up from my friend Nublens. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> How are you? Let me show sure I'm on the right thing here. Let me take this and tilt this up some. That. There we go. Much better. All right. So now, it'd be pretty good. I'm going to break this and make this a little sharp here as well, I think. Check this out. Yeah, this was gonna this this design is gonna take me a minute. <laughs> Mm, can't get this eye right. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip. Did this here, bam. They have these ear hole, ear holes, breathing holes. Um, and um, if that, um, Do this here. Let me see here. I'm going to have to. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure. I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure this design out. Make it more cohesive. Honestly, I feel like I'm probably doing too much right now, but it's a start. Uh, 
I don't have very much time left. See, now this is like a challenge that I'm going to see. I'm going to take this thing on even after I get off, too. Because, see, now I'm, I'm on the quest of creating a, the perfect looking guy for you perfect guy for I'm looking at the my, all my references on Pinterest right now and I see this chibi version of Giver and I'm in love with it and I want it and I need to find it and I'm gonna buy it it is so stinking awesome and it's so detailed and I need to find out where to get this because I need it I need it And once I find out where to get it, your boys don't have it in his collection. This that thing is fire. Anyway, all right. So if you don't know what to do when you're drawing something, <coughs> not you don't know what to do, but if you find that you're in a troubled spot, move on to another another spot. You don't give up. You move on to something easier for the time being. So that's what I'm going to do here. Okay. So we know, all those of us who are Giver fans, we know what is in here, don't we? We know that the Mega Smasher resides here in the chest area. So what we do here is we will, I will draw that indentation in the middle of the chest there to indicate the location of that Mega Smasher. Again, not going to mess with that too much. See right here, right in here. I need to figure something out in this, in this, in this facial area right there. So again, I'm just going to leave that as it is. Um, I'll come back to it until I figure out how I want to tackle that. As I keep looking at this, I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> looks trash. The sketch is great. It's just me trying to put this drawing together. It's making it look like garbage. It's garbage. Okay.
You guys are seeing me hit a wall right now. <laughs> See? <laughs> Live. Live. Hitting a wall. I'm thinking, should I be drawing my own versions of stuff? We'll see. We shall see. It's gorgeous. All right. So we're coming up on um, the hour here. And so uh, once this is done, um, or once we get to that hour, we'll go ahead and call it for tonight. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. It's almost January when I need to be doing this, creating a new print for the Patreons. Again, if you guys aren't on my Patreon account, I didn't even bring out my banners like that, man. You sign up to the Art Club on my Patreon account. You see the information scrolling below the screen, patreon.com slash idwalkerart. You can subscribe there for $5 a month. You get access to uh, digital versions of my prints. And if you go up to the higher tiers, you will actually get physical versions of my prints. Um, that I create specifically for the patrons every month. You get access to behind the scenes videos, um, vlogs, and things of that nature. Okay. And again, once I get to a certain amount of patron followers, I'm going to start doing um, live drawing tutorials. So that is something to look forward to. And hopefully, uh, you guys will be willing to join up and then get access to, uh, to all these things here. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm just gonna tell y'all I'm not feeling it right now. I'm going to go back and I'm going to do some stuff. Here's my sketchbook, my digital sketchbook. I was sitting at a Starbucks, drew this. It's kind of cool. I mean, I went through. I, I I went ham on this. I got all the the, the stuff. Drawing from life is really important to do. Always recommend that. Let me see here. So my alter egos, my logos, my um, some artwork that I have there. All right. Let's go ahead and work on Maybe really quick, I can go ahead and do some. I'll do this here card, uh, card design for my board game. Okay. So we've got this. This is the relic of forget.
Okay. This is the relic of forget. So I wanted to have a forgetful, almost like a duh moment expression on his face. Oops. I like that. Mm, let's see what kind of hair I can give the kid. He looks, he looks kind of like uh, my version of Shaggy. I think it's funny. All right. Actually. <laughs> All right. Now we've got. Okay, I like that. What do you guys think? Is that good? I think it's good. I think it's good. So I'm going to bring down the opacity of this here. I'm going to now take this, and grab my pen tool, make sure my deals with there. Good. Now go ahead and <clears throat> I feel like this ain't a good there we go that's much better I'm like I was like man this body this 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 uh pen is losing some body I don't think I like that Let's get 
keep this here out here like so. This card, when this game is complete, I'm going to be very happy. <laughs> Creating a card game is very hard work. Um, it's not as easy as it looks. Um, definitely a lot goes into it, for sure. It's fun. The process has been great. Um, creating the game and everything. But um, it, it definitely does take a lot of work. Don't underestimate it. I have mad respect for board game developers now. Tabletop game developers and creators. Because it does take a lot of hard work to make um, to make something like this. <laughs> Relic of Forget. Let's bring this in like this. Now we're going to bring color out my flatting brush. Okay, let's get back this white color here, draw that in. Yeah, I'm going to look like he high, <laughs> but the point is to make it look forgetful, so I think we're accomplishing that, yeah? Don't you think? I think so. Let's go in with this darker brown on here for the hair. Okay. Yep, there it is. Some shade out. Some shadow.
second. Oopsie, no racers. Here we are. All right. <laughs> Radica, forget. I like it. I like it. people my folk I, you know what i just realized if chat is on i've been ignoring chat okay nobody's made chat <laughs> nobody's been chat with me okay so i was able to do some stuff there the last relic of mimicry um once i get done with that is my beautiful wife calls it mimic brain uh once I get that done, this aspect will be done. I've started working on the game board. And that just is turning out to be a hot mess. <laughs> I honestly don't know where I'm going with this, but I'll figure something out. <laughs> but um, this is where we're at. So the artwork for this is close to being complete. I'd say 70% complete because I need to work on the beginning board itself and then uh, keep going with that. Anyways, I'm going to call it tonight. Everyone, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank you for listening to my hot takes. If I lost you as a follower after my hot take, sorry you feel that way. Um, like I said, I think AI is nothing to be afraid of. Um, it can be used as a tool. You know, there's so many, so many different ways that we can utilize AI, um, but the nefarious uses for it are not cool. So I, uh, you know, it, it helps us artists to become more careful. We need to be more careful with how we, you know, what we put out there. Um, if we are guarded with our artwork and don't want it to be used by technology. Um, and, but, but at the same time realize that we Without us, there would be no AI art. And nobody could create art like the human hand can with the imagination and the and the heart and all of that. So we can't do that. And don't let and let's not allow this device, this tool, this technology to separate us all as an artist community. That's my I would say that would be the biggest takeaway that I have from this, because I can see that definitely it's already happening. Um, let's not politicize this. It's unnecessary. It's inappropriate. Okay. So, um, anyways, if you guys have questions or comments, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Instagram.com slash ID Walker Art. Also, you can join my art club on Patreon.com slash ID Walker Art. Join five dollars a month to get art. Get enough patrons. I'm going to have um, uh, art lessons. You can get behind the scenes. All kind of different stuff like that. Pretty cheap, and I and I really appreciate it if you could support me. Um, it will definitely go a long way to allow me to keep on continuing to create like this. Um, this is on the YouTube channel. If you're watching from YouTube's or Facebook, Facebook follow. If you're on Twitch, follow. Um, leave comments. Leave all of those things for me. I look and read at all of it. Um, if you are on YouTube, subscribe, follow, share it, turn on the notifications, all that fun stuff. So that you'll know when I go live or when I put up my new vlogs uh, for you guys to see. So, but anything else, you guys want to leave me a comment? I'm always on Instagram, and that's the best and quickest way to get a hold of me. 
get uh, get a hold of me. So uh, the art or uh, ID Walker art, contact me there. If you guys have thoughts on this, I'd love to have the discussion and continue on uh, with that. Okay. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. Mm-hmm.